Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Cubicle Premium Outlong version 2. So the Cubicle Premium 3x3 is a new service that the Cubicle.us just started up, and basically what it is is they have a few cubes out right now, I'm pretty sure it's the Outlong, the Meiying, the Hualong, uh, and I think the way long or something like that and maybe one more and basically they lube it the way they think it needs to be lubed and then they sticker it with whatever color scheme you tell them to sticker it with so I told them to sticker it with my color scheme and then with uh, full fitted stickers because that's what I have on my main Alon here so what we're gonna be doing is comparing this cube to my main Alon V2 which I've used for a very long time and has thousands of solves and is very well broken in anyway let's go ahead and do some first turns Well, right off the bat, this feels very similar to my current Along. The major difference is, is that this feels like freshly lubed and this one feels a lot more broken in. Um, but this one definitely still feels like it's had some solves done on it. It's not like it's straight out of the box. Um, it's extremely fast, it's, it's extremely controllable, and it's very stable. Um, honestly, this cube definitely could be my main. My Along is starting to get kind of worn out. And once it's broken in, I think it would be absolutely amazing as a main. This cube really does feel very similar to my current Owlong. It's fast and buttery. It has the same type of feeling, uh, just not quite as the same sort of broken in feeling that this one has. It's got a bit of a different sound too. I don't know if you guys can notice that. And this one feels actually almost a little bit bigger for some reason, even though they are, of course, the exact same size. Um, and it just feels a little bit more blocky. But that will probably all go away with breaking in, and I will get back to you guys when I have broken this in a bit. So I've had some time to mess around with the new Cubicle Premium Owlong, and let me just say right now, this cube is not exactly what I was hoping it would be. Now in the first segment of this video, I was saying this cube is amazing, and it's really controllable and fast, and, and all that kind of stuff, and it is really fast, but it's too fast. It's not really that controllable, honestly, and the cube just feels too blocky for me. It just doesn't have the same broken in feeling that my main Outlong V2 does, and so I'm not going to be using this cube as my main. So I'm not entirely sure what this cube has been lubed with, but it has a sort of a dry feeling, ironically. Even though the pieces are fully coated in lube, I'm not entirely sure how it's lubed. But yeah, to me it just doesn't quite have the same type of feeling as my main does. And this is after doing some more solves on it, it's broken in a lot more. And uh, it's, it's a good cube, don't get me wrong. But it's not as good as my really well broken in cube. But anyway, I looked it up, and the Cubicle Premium Cubes that they have out right now are the Aolong V2, the Hualong, the Weilong version 2, the Meiying, and the Yushin 3x3. So you can get all of those as Cubicle Premium Cubes. Now, I'd be interested to try uh, the rest of them, but for now, I'm just going to let you know if I'd recommend the Aolong version 2 Cubicle Premium. And honestly, only if you are really bad at lubing cubes and you don't want to put the time and effort into lubing an Aolong and stickering it, then you probably should get this cube. If you have a nice Owlong that you think performs well to your liking, this is not really going to particularly be much better. But the whole purpose of the Cubicle Premium Cubes was to provide another option for people that don't like lubing or are just not good at it and want to get a cube pre-stickered, which is a very nice bonus um, because a lot of people hate stickering. But I think for most people, the extra $10 isn't quite going to be worth it. Now I think that that price is definitely warranted based on the work that they put into setting each cube up, of course. But like I said before, if you already have a nice Owlong or something like that, you don't really need this cube. If you want to get it just to try it out and see how you would like it, you can always do that. Now I'm sure that if I put something in the cube to gum it up a little bit and slow it down, it would pretty much be amazing. And I very well may do that, but I wanted to make this little sort of review just telling you guys uh, how it is without me doing, having to do anything to it, because the whole purpose is for you not have to lube it. I did have to tighten it up a bit though, and that did help some, but of course that's all up to personal preference. But anyway, don't get me wrong, this cube is really amazing, and if I had gotten it a couple months ago before I made my Owlong good again, it would have definitely been my main right away. But my Owlong at this point is just too good that I'm not really sure how it's going to be replaced by any cube anytime soon. But the Tang Long does look super interesting and I'm excited to try it, which that unboxing will be coming up very soon. One more quick announcement before I head out. Thank you all so much for 50,000 subscribers. That is a massive milestone. I cannot believe it. I'm still just having trouble fathoming that number. But anyway, there will be a contest 
Take my word for it, I've already got the cubicle to sponsor it, and I'm in the works of setting it up and figuring out uh, how to enter and, and what's going to be happening. So the contest video probably won't be up for another week or two, but that's something that you can be looking forward to. But anyway, thank you all so much for 50,000, and here's to another 50,000 more. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you haven't already done so, like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, bye.